Now we are on Daf. Um, Zion, I believe. This is over where I'm Zion and Aleph. Not so far. Not so far down. No, you missed Monday. So. No, but the fact is that they agreed on it. That shows the Yeah. Rabbi, it says Rabbi Shim ben Lokish. We want to say that. No, they're just stopping. They're just stopping. It's nothing to do with Hezekiah. Okay, now, it's in our Mishnah that if you had a whole patch, which Arlon, Kilia, Kerem, got mixed up. In other words, you have uh, trees there which are good trees, all more than three years old, and not key lime trees. And then you have trees which are orlo, kilia, which got mixed into the to the general population. You don't know which is which. So, preferably, you're, you're not supposed to collect any of them, which is said, because there's no real mixture. With the principle Kokovo Kamechta Mechta Dami, since each tree stands on its own, so therefore there's no mixture, there's no cancellation, no nullification, so therefore you really can't collect anything. That's really the hypothetical. Now Rish Lakish comes and argues with that hypothetical Allah, and Rish Rabbishim Lakish says, Mishum Chizka, Lokish Loshash Kol Sumatir. As long as you collect three clusters of grapes, at once, each and every time, you're okay. Why is that? Because we assume that in each of the three clusters, you have two mutter, mutter clusters and one forbidden cluster, and the two mutter clusters cancel out the forbidden cluster. Says Mara Machafa, she taught that Rishim and Ben Lakish. This sounds to be a direct contradiction to Rish Lakish's approach elsewhere. Taman I mean Mishum Rabbi Yoshia in the same Sechta Chumos Rabbi Shlokish said name Rabbi Yoshia. I have for a mech a Mishum Chav Yoshia in front of you 150 barrels of uh, wine, and now they're closed barrels, and the ones which are Truma are not cancelled by the ones which are which are where the ones which are Truma are not cancelled by the ones which are Chuin because closed barrels are significant. They're like Kavua. They're not cancelled by uh, by. Um, by mixture, and therefore you can't take any of them. These paths, if a hundred barrels came open, and therefore they can cancel the whatever whatever is to the, the one barrel of chuma which may be in their midst. So man will tell us those a hundred barrels are, are mutter, the chamishim asuras to fifty which are still closed remain forbidden. Vashar, the rest of them look she pasch when they become open, you mutars they become permissible. Now. Um, Rabbi Zir, Rabbi Zir said concerning this case, it's quite clear actually. It's only that the mutter once they become open on their own. However, but to go and open these bottles, you know, for you to go and open these bottles is absolutely forbidden. Yet here, Rishlok is allowing you to pick three clusters at once off a tree. Right? What's the difference? If they're not allowed to do it on your own, it's only if the, the, you're not allowed to open it. It's only if the bottles open on their own, or the jars open, the barrels open on their own. It's okay. Here, how come you're allowed to go to the tree and go pick three clusters at a time? So it says, more Tamashim Rabbi Yeshiva Chavshem Chizka. It's different. Reish Lakish quoting two different opinions. There it's Rabbi Yeshiva, and here it's Chizkiah. Says the Gemara, Varmin Tamar, of fact, over there it says that there is another version, Bishim Rishim Ben Lakish, or Rishim Ben Lakish said, even by the barrels, Boseach Shosh Chavi Usumat, you can open up three barrels at a time. And those three barrels become mutter. So that would be Asi or Chizki, that would be considered, Rishim Lakish is talking like Chizki across the board. Just like here, you can use three. We're going to take off, take off three at a time. So to there, you can take a three at a time. They'll be consistent. Isn't that an artificial comparison between something that's growing out of a tree and a bottle? It is artificial, but it's it's legitimate because uh, there's gods of kavod the rice and a kavod the rabbanon. Kavod the rice is wherever you have something stationary growing in place, right? That's really the trees. Kavod the rabbanon is anything which is significant. And therefore, the mixture doesn't occur. So one is the rice and one is the rabbana, but they are in the same continuum of logic. Okay? They're significant unto themselves. They're not canceled in each other. That's what it means. Okay? 
says what? I don't understand. Doesn't it say in our mission explicitly? I raise a little yield coat that you you can't go ahead and do it lechatchila l'shavar maybe right. Maybe, but yeah, but if you did it, but now let's go out and do it. But you know, it says specifically, if you already did it, then you have a that one in 200 is enough, but not to go and collect three. As soon as those three are okay, we we'll never hear such a thing. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Rabun, Rabbi Yisrael Rabun said, I'll tell you, it depends if you collected three or you collected all of them. Meaning, if he collected uh, all of them, so that's only much of the evidence. Why? Because then you have to come on to the cancellation of 200 to 1. Because you know one of them is for sure forbidden. You collected all of the trees. You know one of the trees is for sure forbidden, and you have to come on to cancellation. Cancellation is a bit of it. However, Ray Shlogan is talking about we well, don't need possibly to come on to cancellation because all you took is three clusters from specific trees and didn't take from all of them. And harvest them in one in in one fell swoop. So therefore, since it's possible that there's no iser in the ones that you collected, therefore, since that is the case, we say to, as long as you collect three at once, that's okay. Because again, it's possible that there's no iser here whatsoever. Even if there is an iser, so maybe it's canceled in the proportion of two to one. So if it's like a fake sveka, and that's why it's permissible. Okay. Says so more. Um uh, 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 Tani, we learned. We mone badon. These are pomegranates of, of badon. Now they're chashev also. They're not badon because they're chashev. They're very significant. So shesipku. If, however, you have a case where you're not sure if these pomegranates are also. Not sure, because it came from a large batch of pomegranates, and you don't know if this was one of the also ones or the permissible ones. Okay, Mala if one of these per, per potentially per, per prohibited pomegranates falls into a bunch of okay pomegranates, then you say it's bought of a robe, and you just take off one and give it, let's say if it's true, you give it to the Kohanim. Okay? Um, so it says the Gemara, Vadoyan on the other hand, if you definitely know this pomegranate was a forbidden pomegranate, ain't no male. Then I don't say, uh, I don't say it, it, it allows the... Uh, I don't, I, I don't say it's bought to Barov. Okay, so that's where the bottom, but there's a certain cooler here. When things are suffix, we say bought to Barov. You know, things that if they're vada, also we normally would not say bought to Barov. And so you normally say that it's a birya, uh, a, a whole living creature, or you a know, it's a significant portion. Nonetheless, in this case, it's bought to if there's an additional mitigating factor, which is the mitigating factor of the suffix, whether it ever became also or not. Okay? Says more, we learned. Says more, Apakaka came. Perhaps we'll say this also by land. We do in our Mishnah. Savi Karkamala, if you are not sure if this this thing growing out of the ground, the tree or whatever, is also because of Orla, whatever the case may be, in Kilia Karim. Savi Karamala, so then in that case it is good. We do assume that yeah, uh, that um, uh, no, I didn't go back. Oh, I have a karka cane. Savi karka mala, vade karka eno mala. If you're not sure if this land has has forbidden trees on it, then it's mala. If it's Vadikar, it definitely has uh, Isri, or then I can't uh, join the other trees together. Hey, Chavita, what's an example? The Tia Shel Orla, I have a plant of Mavarla. We shall kill that camera of Kilayim. She is Sarvu Vintios, which got mixed up with other plants. Safek Karkamale. So if I'm not sure if the, the tree which got mixed in was definitely Orla Kilakarem. I say, blends in and it's okay. Vadai Karka, if it's definite tree, then the definite tree is never uh cancel the other trees in Aino Male. It's not it's never permitted to for you to use for any other purpose. Rabbiudan boy, Rabbiudan asked a very interesting question. He said, Afli ain't a What about about in terms of an Avela? 
means there's a live animal which died, kicked the proverbial bucket, was not shechted. And now it's uh, pieces of meat, archetichos, or at least carbon. The significant portions that are not bottom. Maybe it's only a suffix, so then it's going to be bottom, like all the cases we just said, the two previous cases. So it's about Chazar Rabbi Yudan Vamar. Rabbi Yudan Renegni said, Nevela Aim Laliyah. Nevela is different. You know, Nevela is different. Um, it doesn't get changed. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, no, it does. It gets harvested. That that, that means it's loses the chashivas. It it's significant, and then it's bottom. That which is growing down could be harvested. That which is um, no, I don't want to say that. The pomegranates, right? You can uh, you take off the shells when you eat them, and then they lose their chashivas. They lose their significance. But in the vela, there you don't have to take it apart in order to eat it. And therefore, never look, we don't look at it as if it potentially lost its significance. And in other words, in the cases where I say by a suffix you could be makel, and assume the iser is not there, it's the only type of iser which is a lighter iser, an iser which comes off later on, such as the iser of uh, of uh, of um, it's not all that. Only oh, the main forever. Um, I'm going to just sort out my mind here. Um, ground, that which grows in the ground, and pomegranates. Their chashivas will be bato. When will the chashivas be bato? And necessarily when you eat them. That which grows in the ground is going to have to be served from the ground in order to eat it. The pomegranates have to have the husk broken in order to eat it. What doesn't have to have anything broken in order to eat it? Meat. So therefore, there's no additional necessary procedure. That's why by meat we're going to be more machmer. Say even if it's a suffix of the meat is also or not, since the slabs of meat are so large, if you can give them the guests, they're not going to be bought to hell. Okay, that's what it comes down to. No. You gotta cut up the meat. I no, mean, you don't. You gotta remove the other skin. <laughs> ah! You take a large bite. But you're, you're not eating the whole animal. No, Khatikhuri Skabi is not the whole animal. It's even a slab. A slab? You go into a steak. I saw the coolest advertisement you've seen in the New York Times. It was just a knife. A knife from a steakhouse in the middle of the page. And it said, a vegetarian's worst nightmare. <laughs> that was so cruel and nasty that I had. So, you, you go into these glacier steakhouses, you get a, a whole, you know, side of a cow. They give it to you in your plate. You don't have to cut it up. You know, you can just launch into it. So that's why it doesn't lose chashivas. Even if it's a sophic, we still say that it's the same chashivas as a vaday. The only thing which was Chashiva says the case of the um, of the something which is in, inevitably will have to be cut up or destroyed in order to eat. And that's like the pomegranates or the other cases of that which grows in the ground, which when it's harvested is inevitably going to lose its significance. Okay? Rabbi Yossi says, you know what? He doesn't hold the principle of aim of Atlantis or the Chathila. Now allowed to go and cancel prohibition uh, intentionally. He says, just cancel and that's it. It'll, everything will be bought to one or two hundred. No problem. My time, Rabbi Yossi, what's the logic? Rabbi Yossi, Shekein Derech Meodem Lios made the big fani. It doesn't look like it's going to be a vatel this or either. It's not a problem vatel this or either because people are going to say, oh, your uncle, he's just pruning his grapes. They're not going to realize he's obviously harvesting his grapes. So he also, it's not a maritime problem, it's not a problem with collecting either. Salam to me, what is over there? Real coffee, not decaf.
Milk, milk coffee for real tired people. Huh? How much can I in this chocolate hat? Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday we had, was it Rav Yossi also that wasn't afraid of uh, yeah. Mara Sain? Yeah, he's consistent. Yeah. And now we have another one. Tom team, learnt over there. Saw truma shenaf lo You have a soft truma, a measure of truma. Shenaf lo which fell into a hundred. Okay? Now, a hundred is a sheer bitl. I want to make this clear because I probably didn't make this clear to now. The sheer bitl by kilim is twice the sheer bitl by truma. By truma, the sheer bitl is one in a hundred. By kilim, by orla, the sheer is, is a one in two hundred. Okay, by Allah, I kill you, I can. The shear is one and two hundred. I, the commission says it, but I didn't make it. I didn't. I didn't stress it. It's all right. The Chazal did it. They arbitrarily, essentially, you know, they came to this conclusion. With the rice, everything is bought to one and two. So it's right. they they came and did it on their own. So time to this. Saw too much enough. Let me have a measure of too much fell to hundred chulin. Tachnon, if you grind them now, upichsu, and now. The sum total of grain you have is diminished because you lost something in the grinding process. Nonetheless, still the grain became, remains permissible. Why? Because I say, I say whatever diminished volume there is was diminished proportionally, and therefore everything remains mutter. Tani, we learned, now, here there's a whole line missing in your Gemaras, which is from the Ushami and Trumos. We learned, af let me read you outside. Even though I have to go ahead and grind and make a mutter. Now this is talking about we're originally at one in ninety nine. But if you and it's not bottle, but if you grind it it's gonna be one in a hundred. Because it's the increased volume is gonna increase on the part of the chul and not on the part of the drummer. Right? Yes. That's okay. Why is that okay? Am I allowed to grind it in order to be a vatal this? Because obviously he doesn't know the vein vatal in or the chavchili, or it's okay. Uh, now it seems to me that's only Rabbi Yossi. Now comes Gemara one line later and says, "I'm Rabbi Zira." Zira said, "Divrei Koli." You know what? Everybody agrees you're allowed to grind in this case and increase the proportions in your favor. Why is that? The kosh kenu divrei kol. Because this inevitably will be ground somewhere along the way. What are we talking about? We're talking about where Truman got mixed up in Chul. And if you don't grind it, who's going to have to grind it? Just to make it usable. What do you have to do? The calling. So therefore, I say, what the heck? You can grind it now. Ah, now it's going to be bottled because you ground it. That's okay, because anyway, someone's going to grind it later on. But the truma is where the truma is poorer grain than the pie, than the regular grain. So it loses more volume when it's ground. Not unless you're allowed to go and grind it. Because Rabbi Yosio doesn't know the vein of is still Okay. That's a big assumption. We'll tell you about a case where it's in such a scenario. Okay? Says the Gemara, Manavig be benel. What's if it's what, what the Sephara is? The image is Kili Akerim. If it's Kilaim. I'll die to Rabbi Yossi Tochino Matu. Can Rabbi Yossi go ahead and grind and make a motor? Why is that? Because eventually it's going to be uh, ground anyway. I'll die to the Rabbi. I'll go to the Rabbis, however, ain't Tochino Matir. You can't uh, you can't go ahead and grind it because when you grind you're going to increase the proportions of heter of uh, heter over iser and that's intolerable because we want to uh, we don't want to let you get away get away with it okay. Then violating iser chatchilo, you're not allowed to go and and cancel iser premeditatively. Does Rav Yossi feel the way even with that's a mikvah that? I don't know if this sheet of my signs across the shots. It might just be nichlus roim. I don't know. I remember. Well, often. About Ingvat and Nisim Chachilo with a mikvah. Is there, you know, something dropped in? Isn't there some case we have where we get 39 saw? 
Yeah, the yeah so, but therefore, well, how's it relevant add, anymore? If afterwards, you add more so You add more, right? Of uh, Mayan. Yeah. Shuvim, yeah. Not Mayan Shuvim. Good, good. Uh, no, we have to have at least a shear at the beginning. Twenty-one, uh, twenty-one of the forty saw has to be rainwater, at least. So, what do you want to ask? If it wasn't, if you added more, yeah, you mavatil the issue. Yeah. And there's some people feel there's, there's a day that feels like uh, ain't fine. In this case, I don't remember all the details. By Shabbos? No, with, with the mikvah. And by mikvah? Yeah, by what? By mikvah? What? Uh, I don't remember either. Okay, in any event, says Mister Further, how loving, alim blu loving. If you have leaves or or stalks, we make fine. Now this is not. This is not uh, grape juice. This is if you cut a, a, a grapevine, you get the moisture inside the tree. Okay? Asurim bar, uh, uh, I'm sorry, mutarim bar la, over a If there, there's no arla, uh, I skipped. Make fine of a smadar, an unripe fruit. Mutarim bar la, over a vai. Mutarim bar la, and that vai does not attach them. Nausea as well. You know, there's no din of nausea, even if they're from grapevine, because they're not edible. But if they're worshipped, they become also as an Asherah tree becomes also. Rabbi Yossi says that the small that has all the restrictions mentioned in the beginning of the mission, because it's also fruit, it's not a vegetable. Okay? Um, man, it's not a vegetable, it's not a uh, piece of wood, I take that back. It's not a piece of wood. What's exempt from all the pieces of wood? So he says, smadar is also a fruit. It's not a piece of wood, so therefore it should be judged like a, like um, like a fruit. Um, Rabbi uh, Rabbi Lezer Maramamid Bisraf Orla. Awesome. If you use the uh, the sap, but not the sap of the tree, it's not maple syrup. The sap of the fruit of the tree. Somehow you isolate a sap from the fruit of the tree. I use that as a catalyst for making cheese. That's also the cheese is also now, yeah. So that's here. I might have strapped for our law, sir. Okay. Well, but it's coming from the fruit itself. Yeah. It's from the fruit itself, yeah. So it's a product. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because the fruit itself is supposed to come from the bar. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rabbi Yehudah Omer, Hamam is not for a loss, right? That's the logical conclusion. Once you know that it's, it's just so, if somebody uses it in order to. Um, and for um, what? Making cheese, right? Then the cheese becomes lesser. Um, I'm not even sure. said, "Shmavi feish b'srafa alim u'v'srafi karim muter." I heard explicitly that 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 uh, the secretions which come from the leaves and from the roots is permissible. B'srafa upon him also mivnei shupri. The the uh, the roots which come from. Uh, One second. Let's start with you, Rabbi Shua again. Rabbi Shua, Shemayim Feish Shemayim is Rafa Alim is Rafi Korim Muter. If you use the sap which comes from the leaves or from the roots, that's okay. But it's Rafa Pagim. In the, if you use sap which comes from an unripe fruit directly, also it's also mineshu pre because it's a fruit. I can't cool. I can't. I can't cool. I close. And cuckoos are great to chop and grow to a third of their growth, and they got ruined anyway before they grew to a third of their growth. Vachatzanim and seeds. Vazagin the 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 the. The husks. Mashiach. He might actually keep me awake. We will confide him in. Which one? Zagin is the skins. Shmarim is the dregs. Okay? Vazagin are, are the skins by Temichlam, and if you uh, made meat out of it, in other words, you put water and fermented in there, and, and all this was left behind. Klipe Rimon, 
the husk of a pomegranate tree, vanachlo, and it's tuft, klipe agosim, the husk of a pinot, vagarinim, and the, the nuts, asurim per orla, they're forbidden in orla, and asher if they're worshipped, um nozir if they're scraped for grapes, and nozir now I'll eat them, um butarim bervai, interesting aloha. There's a local that even though they have an Isra of Orlot for the first three years, the fourth year they have no Loch of Netaravai, because Netaravai only applies to savings things Maitre Shane applies to. Maitre Shane only applies to edible commodities, and guess what? These are officially not. These are not officially edible commodities. Even though people might eat them, they're not considered to be officially edible commodities. Okay? Rabbi Yesi, Rabbi Yesi says, No eat, I skipped. I skipped. Hanovlos. No, it's a fruit which falls off the tree before it gets fully, for the, before it gets fully ripe. Mutkulana soros. They're all also because of of of, of orla or revai or nazi or ashera, because they are considered to be fruit. Rabbi Yosi says, if you take a branch of an old tree, you can still plant it in the ground. This or no does not extend to replanting. That's okay. However, a notim ego show or show orla, we cannot plant a, a a nut. Why is that? What's the problem of orla? Neshu pre. Very interesting. Gemara. The Gemara says that the, you're not allowed to derive a nut from orla fruit. What's orla fruit? A nut. What's not orla fruit? A pure graft, right? So therefore, you're allowed to graft on uh, orla, which has. Uh, which has fruit on it, but one is not allowed to graft on orla, which is um, uh, uh, it's not grafting. You're allowed to graft the branch, you, which has fruit on it. Even though it's oral fruit, but you're not allowed to plant oral fruit, because the difference is one comes out of the the the, 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 the seed itself, and the other, which is above the seed, is a byproduct. And now that the branch is going to get the nourishment probably from the, oh, it's not necessarily a younger tree. No, it's not a younger tree. Okay. Uh, uh, this is all talking about the question of Anor. However, you cannot use a branch of a tree which has fruit still on it uh, if it's if it's uh, orla because then people think it's like the stump underneath and it's mutter to eat. Okay, the uh, the the uh, the leaves and the um, the the um, the leaves and the shoots. Masisa lo krabi lozer. It's not Rebbe Lezer. Tanya Shere Rebbe Lezer. Rebbe Lezer. Send a Rebbe Lezer. Because Shere Yase. Me given a yayin. For everything made from the grape of the vine. Me chal tzonim from seeds. Vatzogin to the skins. Lo yochal yishrani. And afa ali valu lovim b'mashma. Including the, the, the leaves. And the shoots. When our mission says the Nazir can out. He can eat them. Tanya Rebbe Yase Yomel. Smodar osur. What's also when it's smodar? Then it's also for nausea to eat it. Because unripe fruit, because at least it's fruit. Eventually it might ripen. Right? Um, the kasha, it's difficult. I don't understand something. If this is also by nausea, normally pre, why do you have to tell me it's a pre? It's a fruit. In pre, and if you tell me it's a fruit, who who yeah, also recall? So we also in our law and kid rev can revive all the mitzvahs, right? Because Rabbi Yitzchak Amar she also recall. Rabbi Yitzchak in fact held it as taka also in everything. How so? Rabbi Yitzchak show matar emar kibim kaf noels show or who's the town who said you cannot graft or love bearing or uh, love bearing branches onto non or love bearing trees. Rabbi Yossi. Tani, we learned. Pre Iata Poida. You can redeem Maitu Shani fruit. Vena ta poida lo bo serve lo pagim. One is not allowed to redeem that which is unripe or that which is uh uh was never ripe or will never become ripe. So Chora. 
Oh, I lost my train of thought. What's going on here? He's stopping his friend from making a living. He's so what? My or not to revive the fourth year. If it's open, there's no wall, so you're limiting his access because he can't do everything yeah. he wanted to do. Uh, he can't do private things. He, let's start for a bit of show again. Did we get that? Did you see a bit of show? Is? Show Mr. Suter. Rabbi Yitzhak Shah, man tana emar kivim gil kafni o shal orla. Uzu tana says, now I have to do her cover, now I have to graft on an orla branch which already has food on it. Rabbi Yossi, that's Rabbi Yossi. Why is that Rabbi Yossi? Because Rabbi Yossi says that even though these are stilted young, insignificant fruits, nonetheless he holds that any fruit is considered to have din of orla. Even he brought down before smadar, even unripe fruit. So certainly this stuff is a din of our law, and therefore we're afraid if we allow you to graft on this branch and some other tree are going to come to eat the forbidden fruit. So that's my The other tree That's a good point. Um, no, because you might come to eat it. It's an independent zero. Why would you come to eat it if he's grafting? What? Right? Because it has it has fruit on it. So you might pluck that fruit out. Right. So we have to ban the fruit. Um it's a show amount on a marquee cup no shore. Who's the title says you can't use hungry um pack animals? Raviosi. What? I went back on line, right? Went back, but then you didn't do. Then I then I fell asleep. Okay, it took Shaw. Let me go back to the line again. It took Shaw. Matan Emar Kim Kafne Shlo Orla. Who's the one that says you can't put a put on uh, a graft a Orla branch which already has food on it? That's Rabiosi. Tani, we learned Priyata Boyda. This is a separate issue. When you get to Shlo, uh, you're allowed to redeem fruit and take the Maitre Shani money or net the Revai money up to Shalai. However, when at the point, the little boats are blow pocky and one cannot redeem that which is both there, ne- ripe, not unripe, and pocky that which will, that which is late. Well, both will never become ripe. And pocky is that which is late in becoming ripe. Whole Rav is either being like Pnei to pocky tomorrow. The Rav is either saying, you know what? Pocket for if you have unripe f- dates, you gotta he cover you gotta she cover you gotta redeem you gotta bury them because you can't redeem them and there's no usual lime in our day and age to take them up to. So what are you gonna do with that net revai? Just have to bury it. There's nothing else you can do. No, I don't accept this. But of our part of toy, for instance, let's say the because they the, the, they they made a mistake. And they did redeem it. They redeemed the Pagi tomorrow. No, Rabbi is not afraid to. Again, Rabbi, you ain't a boy. Of Rabbi, you ain't a boy. Of Rabbi, you ain't a boy. But do you have it if you redeemed the pocket, even when there was a base that makes the shoot work? So certainly Bisman Aze says, but Tamar Tong, before you want to say Bisman Aze, you, you have to bury it. In other words, just like with the Avid, when there was a base that makes the shoot redeemed unripe fruit, it was a vowed redemption, he would take the money up to Shlime and not the fruit himself. So to now that there is no base on Mikdash, we're in the Avid situation. And therefore, Bisman Aze in our day and age, you can. Redeem, you can uh, Redeem the Maestro Shani. 
no matter what. Is that clear at all? But what, what's this? It's a bit the the evidence. Right. So, so what's the first That's right. The first one is that it works according to him. Yeah, sure. Um, what's the first video? Yeah. Yeah, it is to the top of the heaven, yeah. Okay? Um, right, but also Rabbi Yosem Shem Yolans and Rabbi Shem, Shem Rabbi Shua. Shlem, Amru Dovrech, they both said the same thing. Tom, today we learned over there, Rabbi Shem Rabbi, Ein Lekhtav Shviz, by Khtaf, by by sap, there's no shmita. In nature, it'll be because it's not a fruit. I'm Rabbi Zira, Zira said, Lo'ay, but those, Kamoda Tamar Tamar of Tatsuki, it's just like you say over there, or by us actually. Halacha, and here's a type which should be like Rabbi Yoshua, that you can't take the sap from the fruit. Ha, uh, 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 that's those that are and everything. So, so too. Yeah. So, so too. Oh boy. Um, time out. Let me get her. St- Hold on a second. Okay, look. This is what's going on. By us, we said that. Um, we said Rabbi Shua said that the the sap of the uh, the sap of the fruit is considered to have the the, the status of Orla. It's forbidden to actually have any benefit from it. Rabbi Shimon says by Shemitah, the sap of a tree has Kedusha Shemitah to it. Okay? The Gemara is asking, Rabbi Yeshua, we possibly like Rabbi Yeshua in our Mishnah. The sap of a fruit has the status of Orla. What is the status over there by Shemitah? Do I say also the sad, well, do, am I compelled to possibly like Rabbi Shimon? Which is difficult, because there Rabbi Shimon argues in Rabbana. Means it's a shitas yochi. He's an independent operator. Here, Rabbi Yeshua is arguing on other rabbis, but not the rabbana, not the collective entity of rabbis. So, therefore, it would be bad for us to say that the Allah is most parallel over the, to each other. Okay, let's say it from Tamot and again. Tamot over there, Rabbi Shimon said, Omer, and the Ktav The. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Rabbi Shimon says the sap of a tree does not have shmita. Okay, the sap of the fruit would have shita, but not the sap of the tree, which is consistent with our mission. That's Rabbi Yeshua said: the sap of the fruit is oil, but not the sap of the tree itself. Okay, so just like it means nation, it means not a pre. Am Rabbi Zir Zir says Rabbi Pitos Kimod Etamer to just say over there, the, their meaning by us. Halacha, and here's a big typo. Rabbi Yeshua, those like Rabbi Yeshua, so to halacha, so to over there. Right, Yerushalmi Yocha means over there. Halacha should be like Rabbi Shimon. Halacha should be like Rabbi Shimon over there. Um, Rabbi Yerushalmi said it's not comparable. V'dam yayi. You think it's com- comparable at all? It's not comparable. Now here's another typo. It should be L'chol uh, uh, For every matter Botel Ayadei Sarfa it's it's uh, uh, it's cancelled or negates negated by its sraf. Elaine ain't about the srafo. However, he those or these are not cancelled by it by its by its sraf by its sap. Now, what does that mean? That uh, by us, we're assuming that. There's a dichotomy between the sap of the fruit and the sap of the tree. That's okay. But by Shemitah, it's not necessarily true. Because by Shemitah, we know other things have kushu shvitz besides actual food. So maybe the maple syrup and tree also has Kedusha Shmita. Maybe Rabbi Shua himself will hold that here. There's a dichotomy between the sap of the fruit, which is Osir, and the sap of the tree, which is Mutter, will agree that by Shemitah, the sap of both is Osir. 
Okay, do you see that difference? Yes, that's what I was about to say. I was about to say, I'm, I said it before, but the Gemara says it now. Okay, oil is only fruit. Oil is only fruit where Shemitah is everything which grows on the ground. Okay, so again, it should be L'chol Dabar for all matters, but I they sarfo. It's, can, it's uh, negated by its sraf, which means that the sraf is insignificant if it's not the sraf of the fruit. The other shmita, even if it's not the sap of the fruit, it's still not insignificant. It's still significant. How so? So we have what's the proof of that? The proof of that putting is that ochi behema kedusha shvi is chaleim. Animal fodder it gets kedusha shmita. Animal fodder doesn't have a din of arla, so it must be that that shmita's parameters are more stringent. Okay. All right, but I would said easily chayri. I got a different distinction. What's that? Rabbi Shu'am Rashmur. We can bask in like Rabbi Shu'am Rashmur because he said it as a tradition. Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shain Garmei Omra, he said it on his own and therefore we don't bask in like him. Okay. Lama asked the Gemara, why is it also to curdle cheese, Bissar of Perin, with the, the, um, the sap of the tree, which I guess curdles milk. Uh, uh, why is that prevented? Pagin pre, is that because the pa- pragin, the, the pagin, the, um, the unripe, the unripe uh, dates or whatever we're taking this sora from is considered to be a fruit? In Tamar, Sora pre. Well, if that's the case, well, actually, it should be, I guess we have this. Lama Sora pre, because Pagan pre, right? In Tamar, Sora pre, what if the, the sap itself is considered to be In other words, if it's considered to be a fruit, the sap is considered to be a fruit. So, therefore, just like over here, we asked her the curdled milk because it was curdled by Orla. So, too, if you used curdling agent made out of Truma fruit, so it should be also as well. However, in Tamar Pagin Pri, if you're going to say that it's not the, the, the sap. Still the red, red wrong. Let me go back a line. Uh, Rama, Rama, why is it also to make cheese? With the, the sap of the fruit. Is it because the saraf is pre? Is it because the sap is the fruit? Or because the pogging is pre? Because the, the, the unripe fruit is fruit? Eat them or saraf pre? If you go, uh, if you're gonna say that's because of the sap of the fruit, also came with truma also. So, so to intame a pre, if you're going to say that the sap is fruit, so if you use truma for that purpose, then it's also right? Because truma is, uh, makes it also as well. However, intame a pagin pre, if you're going to say that the the uh, unripe fruit is the fruit, also came with truma, if you did it by truma, then it's mutter, it would be okay. Why? Shanoyas truma muteres vanoyas or lasura. Vanoa. If it's the pagin, the fruit, yeah, if it's the unripe fruit, which is the fruit, so then what's the status of the sap? No. That's what Gemara is saying. It's either, Gemara is setting up a yeshiva shachakira. It's either or. So if the sap is the fruit, then the fruit is not the fruit. If the fruit is the fruit, then the sap is not the fruit. So it, by truma, you're allowed to have anor. But if it's you, if it's a fruit, so it have, could cause the din of truma to pervade whatever you're using it on, right? So if the sap is the fruit, so then the truma pervaded whatever it curdled. But if the fruit is the fruit, so then truma didn't pervade because what's the truma? the fruit and what was the catalyst? 
the sap. Right. But if you're going to say the sap is the, uh, and that's okay because sap is mutabano by truma. It's also by all of but if you're going to say the fruit is the fruit, so then in that case, whatever comes from that is considered. No, I just got messed up again. If you're going to say the sap is the fruit, so then it's okay by truma and it's okay by orla. No, you're right. If the Sabbath fruit is going to be okay by Truma and not by Orla. No, because it's curdling. No, just makes it also for. If you say the sap is the fruit, then by true mode it becomes ulcer. Right. Because that's the that's the true mode. You're right. Because the true mode pervades the substance. If you're going to say the fruit is the fruit, so then true is motor. If you if you use truma sap to curdle your 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 cheese, it's okay because there's no fruit of truma in the catalyst because the catalyst is the sap which came from the fruit. So therefore, the cheese will be mutter banor even for a czar. So where the by oil, it's going to be also regardless, right? Because it doesn't make a difference if it's the fruit itself or that which came from the fruit. But by chub, by truma, it'll make a difference if it's the sap, which is the fruit, in which case it's going to be oser. Or if I say the fruit of this fruit, in which case it's going to be mutter. Between truma and orla? No, because truma is a didn't fruit, but orla is a not a didn't fruit. Or is it then? I shouldn't say. It. Let me rephrase that. Truma is a din inedibility. Or is not a din inedibility. It's anything which comes from the tree. Unless it's absolute wood. Right. Right. Okay. Sap is not going to be edible. Okay. Says more further. Um, no, it is edible. Uh, yeah, some of it. Okay. And 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 kalukos v'chartzonim. Rabbi Zir v'chart Rabbanim b'shem Rav. Rabbi Zir, one of the rabbis, the name of Rav, said, "An ovish water, an an kalukos, an kuklos, whatever it is, an ovish loka chlovi ushlish. They're great grapes that never got to a third of their growth. They got ruined before they got to a third of their growth." Even they got root after they got to the goat, they still know Orla which applies to them. Um Khia Barada, Lush and the the word an an close is a contraction. Mean it contracts the words Anovin the Lucky Tlaseon grapes which became afflicted when they got to a third of their growth. Rabiozi says it should be no timichur. You're allowed to plant this up sapling off an orla tree. On Rabbi Yochan, over venata mutter. If you did, if you did plant a um, the 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 uh, the orla tree, so but the evidence mutter. Um, even uh, even Rabbi Yosi agrees to that, right? Um, that he says you can't plant a sapling. Says be evident you did it's okay. However. Not if you uh, be evident you grafted. Why is that? Because the evidence you planted. So he says here that uh, the the nut or the seed which you planted rots in the ground before it grows. So therefore, whatever grows is a new thing. But if you graft, so whatever you grafted is whatever you grafted, it doesn't change. So therefore, whatever grows is still an old thing, and therefore, but the evidence if you did it, it answers whatever you cook. The, you, it answers whatever you, you can harvest. Uh, whatever you, uh, whatever you, uh, you really harvest from that grafting. Okay? 
So now we discuss in like great detail. You have a nut of Arla, Shinata, which you planted. You have an egg which was worshipped. As Avodazar Shinasi is a broken, she became a chick. Rabbi Chagai, Bishem Rabbi Yosha said he spoke with Chizki of a Kana. His Machog is Chizki on Kana. Kana, Amar Mutaris Kana says the egg is Mutter. Why? Because it gets vile before the chick comes out, so the chick is not coming from Avodazar. Chizki Omar also, because that all happens eternally. As far as we're concerned, egg is an egg is an egg. And therefore the chick becomes author as well. It never really changed. I'll die to the chizki. Ask more stam. According to chizki, he said, you only can make something about the zor if you do a mice to it. Ech efshar lebeitzas about the zor and nasi sefrach. How can you have an egg which is a part and parcel of the zor which becomes a chick? How did the egg become about the zor? So says more manu kei moi toiv a imshem pach. So if the mice did it, the eggs are you crushed it. Ain't got a frog. So ain't gonna grow no chick. Ikshich nisa lepnim in it kam kniklin. Kniklin. If it's because you brought the egg inside the walls of the Avodazar temple, and that's why it comes off because it's now the Kroivis Avodazar is brought as an offering. Asachamei. Says the Gemara, come and see. Vilishtach velo sarah. If when you bow down to it, you don't forbid it because you didn't do a mice to it. Just because you brought into the town because of because of Avodazara. So how do you have such a scenario? Um, Rabbi Yudon, Rabbi Yudon, Rabbi Yudon, Rabbi Yudon, Rabbi Yudon, said, the pot there should go to Avodazara. You use the egg in order to make a fence around Avodazara. So in that case, you did a mice to it, and that's how it became Avodazara. Okay. I guess the eggs are incredible and they can be used as uh, as fences as well. So the chick that hatched from the egg yeah. is not is not considered not exactly what it's are. Well it's my cloak is here. Okay. Yeah. Change, right. That's the opinion. That's why there's a opinion. That's not a bazaar. There's a change. But there's no more for a fruit from a tree. No, it's not changing. That's why it remains also. Awesome. They were that may be. We're talking about here where the fruit was already there at the time we worshipped it. Okay? Um says more beta sector shinasi to frog. What happens if you have a hectic egg which became a chick? Um a rabbi asa riasa pliba kana rabbi echnos kan rabbi echnon kana marasura kana says it's also rabbi echamar mutar sebel says it's permissible. The Rabbi Yochanan say it's okay. Of Hachi Poda also Bizman Bizman Zara. So, so to hear, I, I don't stand. That's the case when. Um, oh, it's not a question. It's a statement. That when you redeem it, you redeem it with its value as an egg. Because when it become hectish, when it was an egg. So we redeem its value as an egg, not its value as a chick. Rabbi Chanin of Rabbi Yon of Rabbi Lez of Shem Bagana said, put it up as man's mind. You go, it's like time was still an egg. Literally, time was a zero. Chanani of Shem Rabbi Yon said, Mitakno Kahano, let us fix up. Mitaknosa. Let us fix up this tradition. Kahana Amara Sura. Kahana says it's Osir. The chick is Osir. Upoto Sokomoshi. And he redeemed the Chinobas that comes back. They should redeem the chick as its value right now is a chick. Rabbi Yochamar Motes. Rabbi Yochamar says Mutter. Upoto Sokomoshi. And he redeemed it as its value is. Now as its value was at the time that it was an egg. Okay. Hajloch and the tail of New parak, Mr. Zuger. Han, last line. Hatruma, Trumas Meister, Shul Demai. Yeah, Truma. And Trumas Meister of Demai. Achala and Bikurim, they're all the same called Truma. Therefore, Eilin Becho Meo. They all are Bata, one and hundred. When it's time for him said, not only that, they join together to Asr, because they're all called Truma. The Tzorch Lorem, and if one of them fell, 
if so, uh, if you have, it, well, even once it's canceled, you have to pick up one of the batch and give it to a Kohen because of Kevin said a shave it, lest you be considered a thief from the Kohen. However, if a killer carom, their shares on the back of the one and two hundred. When we start from saying that they join together, but they ain't start learning. There's no concept gets a shave it. There's no theft from anybody. So once it's canceled, you don't have to pick one up and give it to the Kohen. Obviously, I'm sure my Emmet Star from Shimon says they don't join together at all because they're not similar. I bless them, Emmet Star from Shimon. Of time, if they're if they're in min bush ain't no mino. In other words, you had this oil on Kila Karen which fell into a pot of rice. So then they're mitstari because they are going to impact on the taste of the rice. I have a low last sort. But if they're if they fell to min bimino, right, then they don't join together. And the shear is one and two hundred versus each one of them. And you don't need to have uh, one in four hundred in order to cancel them out. Okay. Hachuma chuma smai sirchule. Lamin itzircha, who's this going like? Who's this chiddish here? The Rabbi Shimon. Avagai Rishirim are ancient and shameless with starfi. Even though Rabbi Shimon says that two names are generally not mid starfi. Meaning, um, um, oil on kilea karam, as he says at the end of the Mishnah, right? The end of mid starfi. And the race she agrees. Loidish kula shame chuma mid starfi. Here, where they're all part and parcel of chuma, they all join together. My time a trumas meister shall demai. Who's the who says a trumas meister demai requires a hundred to cancel it? Rabbi Meir. The Rabbi Meir machmir with the vreim kidivet. Rabbi Meir holds the rabbanot are as usher as the araisos. I'm Rabbi Chino. Haid et tanida tamar. Where do we see this? We saw in Masech Tanida. Right, I skipped. Vaha Ashk Vehe, it should be where Ashkuch and Ramir Machmed different activator, where is your Ramir's Machmed, the Rabban is just like the Rices, or Mechanin, or Chin said, How did Sita was learned over there by, by a Zava? How Goya Kes, if a woman sees a stain on her garment, which is big enough to include three greasing, three dimes worth of blood, and she wore the garment for three days, Harezim Kukelis, she's ruined. The Choshesh is Mishum Zov, dear Ramir, she has to be afraid she's a Zava. Because she had enough for three separate sightings over three days. The whole concept of a kesa making you tummy is the rabbanon. Because the rice of stain doesn't make you tummy. What only makes you tummy? Uh, a, a real flow which you feel, right? So therefore there's no, not going to be machmir to make you a zav. So the mayor is machmir by, 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 by the rabbanon like the rices. He makes a kesa as if you actually saw blood. So to here be machmer, truma smeister, shalt mai, as if it's truma mamish, it's only but a one in a hundred. Rabbi Yerna boy, the lama lo tenina chalas to mai. Why don't we mention chalas to mai? Kamara tenina, just like we mentioned here, uh, uh, should be truma smeister, shalt mai. So mention chalas to mai. So there's more loni stay chalas to mai. No, you can't mention chalas to mai. You know why? Because there ain't no such thing. Now, in Masech the Chal, we learned there was Chal of Demai. Here, the Mar is arguing. It's going to bring a machlokus. Is there such concept that Maratzim are afraid, we're afraid they didn't take off Demai, Chal, or we're not afraid? Rabbi Chidu Hashem Shmuel said, Demai Tzor Chal. Of course, there's a concept of Demai by Chal. Who knows the Amar took of Chal? Amar lay, Amar lay, Rabbi Chia bar Luliva, top of Testament Aleph. Chiyav said, "No to don't have me to shave it." Now is the concept of demai. One second, one more second. Now is the concept of chala by demai. The this God's chala by demai. I have to take a chala misafek. But when you give it to the kohanim, since you are, it's a safek, so you're allowed to charge them for the chala that you give to them, because maybe the chala was taken off, which we did see already in Masechta Chala. You take money from the Shevet. Rabbi Mona, Beshem, Rabbi Yer said, You're not allowed to. You have to take of Chalami Safek if it's not true of a stake rob. By now, it's to collect money from it. Why? Because we're afraid then tomorrow it's going to bring Vada Chala. Vayma Admire is going to trick us and say, Oh, it's Demai. We're afraid it's going to cheat. Okay, Rabbi Yochanan Chol Gamliel Zuga Zuga. Rabbi Yochanan has Gamliel Zuga. Nehigi Natu Mafkin Chalamin Admai. Do you take Chalamin Admai? Because maybe the Amorites didn't take of Chala. Or Malaysi said, Lokenam Rabbi Shmuel Achud Rabrachio Mishash Gazul Admai. No, 
when they made the Xer and Demai, Atrubus and Meisters, Rov Am, an overwhelming majority of the nation, much more than took of Atrubus and Meisters. Marfish no so toch potayan, they were Marfish Chala in their houses, so therefore there's no din of Chala mitmai. Am Rabbi Yitzhak, Rabbi Boon, Britani, we learned, tonight based in Hushia, Chalos and Mitzvon Tzvono. It seems like a very interesting thing. Tonight based in since the Chala has no Shia, unlike Trumus Meister. So they said automatically, even if the Amorites didn't take off Chala, it's as if he took off Chala. And what Chala did he take off? An infinitesimal amount. So that Chala is now bought on the rest of the dough. So they made a legal stratagem to consider as if the challah was taken off and then bought them so you don't have to take off challahs to my. So it's a machlokas and this sugiyos you don't have to take off challahs to my. We'll stop here.